Ow, I keep grabbing my fingy. Let's play back together and call it good. Today we are doing rear drum brakes on the O2 Impreza Outback. Uh, let's go ahead and just dive right in. That was so cheesy. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so if you live in Michigan like we do, uh, your drum brakes are most likely welded on with rust. Get yourself a nice big hammer. puppy right off, nine times out of 10, it will not come off that easily. So when you're getting into drum brakes, it is always a good idea to have both sides up at the same time, because you're gonna want a reference. It, you can take a picture of it all put together, but as you can see from this, it's all dirty and you know, there's no really color difference in anything and your springs are color coded. So uh, it's always good to have the other side jacked up, taken apart so you can use that for reference for putting the next, or putting this side on once you get it all taken apart. To get these off, typically all you're gonna need is just a pair of pliers. So these pieces are little pins that stick all the way through. And if you can see the notch in these, the way that they're turned right now, they will hold it down. So what you do is you take your pliers, push it right into that, get onto the pin. You should be able to turn it to where you find that notch. Looks like now we're right back to where we started. Got it. Mm. Woo. Now that will loosen that up, so then we're gonna go to loosen the other side. Make it a little easier maybe to get to the, ooh, that one's really in there. parts every once in a while you just gotta <laughs> just like that good grief this is how the camera got get shot right here right, there's one no All right, so putting the new uh, pads on there, basically the e-brake on this side is not working, but in order to keep things from clanking around back here, for this piece to fit in there properly, we needed to have this piece in here. So what I literally did was we went ahead and put it in correctly up there, but we just do a little tack down there, just so it keeps it from clanking around and also just weight won't be different on the other side. So not that it would make a huge difference, but when you're working with wheels, it's always good to have a good happy medium. So. We're gonna go ahead and start getting this side put together. Um, I'm gonna start out by just kind of setting both of these up here. We're gonna go ahead and get these pins through first with the springs. So to do these, this pin has to come in from the back side. So we're gonna find that hole back there. Oops. Yeah, nothing's gonna stay in place right now, but we're gonna line that up so it comes through. Just like that. Make 
make sure this at least kind of stays in the right place. Spring goes over top of that. No one ever said this was fun, by the way. Are you kidding me? This is why you go to the auto mechanic shoppies. Whoa. Do not go to auto mechanic shops over here. I've been looking for this piece right now. That piece will just float until we get the other thing in there. Gray boy. Come on, gray boy next. And this also goes to that same spot. Get in there. Ten years later. Oh! <laughs> oh, baby. Why is it sitting so low? Why are they sitting super low? Look how low these are. The way that they packaged the shoes, both rights were together, both lefts were together. And so I took a set of two essentially backsides, so lefts put them together. Hence the reason for my huge struggle. There is a pin going through one. There is not a pin going through the other. I have a set of two pins. Everything almost lines up perfectly down here. But, <laughs> except for the fact that it wants to fall super low. So, in theory, this is what will solve all my issues. <laughs> How does that make you feel? You win some, you lose some. I still have a zip tie down the back of my pants. So it's nice to have the other side open um, for reference, but by the time you finish one side, you've already taken it apart and put it back together about 10 times. You got it memorized for the next side, so. Hit it again. All right, so I know this was kind of crazy. Um, I kind of was not expecting it to be as hard as it was. I also wasn't expecting to put the wrong side drums on there or wrong side shoes on there. Um, hopefully this helps somebody out there. And please comment below if you've got any other ideas for things you want to do to this car. I've already seen a comment about a aftermarket intake, so maybe that'll come in the future. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs>